Hey everyone, AppChasers.com. Today I wanted to talk to you about a common problem uh, that is the inability to mail groups of people using the native email app on the iPhone or iPad. In order to mail a group of people, first of all you need to start a new message, start typing in a contact's name, select them, and then add the next name. Well, this can be very tedious, and usually what people end up doing is they just find an email that they received from a group of people that they want to email, and then forward or reply to all. Well, as you know, that that's going to create a lot of confusion because one thing, it keeps the old message uh, still in that forwarded email or that reply to all, and it's hard to change the subject line. But wouldn't it be nice if there was a way to email a group of people right from within the default mail app on the iPhone and iPad? Well, there is a way, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. And the beauty of it is, since most apps use the default mail client to send an email, for example, if you wanted to share uh, a web page from Safari, it uses the default mail client. Well, you're going to be able to mail a group of people uh, anywhere within iOS. So the app that we're going to use to do that, I'm going to cancel out of here. The app is called MailShot Pro, and it's actually the only app that they've ever found that does this. So let's go ahead and open this. I'll show you how it works. We've already downloaded MailShot Pro. Every time you open the app, it's going to show you this splash screen, and you have to hit start. Now, when we get into the app, you can see I've already created a few different groups here, but let's uh, create a new group together. So we'll tap on Create New MailShot Group. We'll call it Demo. We'll hit Done, and now it's going to ask us to add contacts to this demo group. So if we hit the plus button, we can uh, start typing in a, a name here, and then go ahead and do the next one. And you can see we just go along right like this, just adding one email after another. You can also uh, hit the plus icon at the bottom of the page to do that. Another way you can add contacts is by tapping on this import button at the bottom of the screen. This is going to quickly allow you to check off contacts that you'd like to add. So I've already got a few here that I've checked in, but let's go ahead and start checking some more of these. And then uh, we'll cancel that search. We'll hit add and it says we've imported six contacts. So now we have a few different contacts that we've added to this group called demo. So all we want to do once we have all of our contacts in this specific group that we want to email, we'll hit update. And now it's going to give us this notification that says a contact of this name called demo has been written to your Google address book. So this would work if you're using iCloud or Google. Here it just says Google, but let's hit OK there. Now we've got our demo group that we've got that we just created. Every time you go in there, you can hit Update. That allows you to update that contact in your default address book on your iPhone. So let's go into our address book on the iPhone. Here it is. We'll open the app. And uh, we've got our address book of contacts right here that we can scroll through. But let's see if that demo contact was added. We'll hit search, type in demo. Oh, there's the group right there. And it's added just like a regular contact. Now that's the key that's going to allow the mail app to be able to find and email these people. So let's tap on that and see what it looks like. MailShot Pro adds a nice little icon that tells you that this was a group that was created in MailShot. Now, the cool thing is, right from within our Contacts uh, app here on the iPhone, we can simply tap on the email address there, and it'll start an email with all of those people already populated. So anytime you want to just start an email with those people, you can see they're already all populated here in that new message. So you can do that right from the address book or your contacts app on your iPhone. Let's delete that. And it's placed us nicely in our mail app here. But let's show you how to do this right from the mail app. We'll hit the compose button. We'll start typing in demo. 
and right at the top it gives us our group we'll tap that and uh, it's not going to show us in this manner the different contacts that are in there but needless to say they are in there and they will be emailed we'll show you what I mean by that by typing in a test here and I'm going to uh, hit send now okay so it sent that email let's see if it sent it to all those people let's go back to our mailboxes we'll go into sent and there's our sent message and notice all of those contacts were added to that message so that's a cool way to uh, quickly be able to email a group of people now let's say you're looking uh, in Safari here let's say we're on appchasers.com and we'll just show you this as an example but let's say you're reading and you find a, an article that you'd like to share with uh, this group of people there's a couple ways you can do this on app chasers one way is by uh, tapping on the email button here it's going to bring up that compose you can type in demo there's our group and it's ready to send off we'll hit send the other way you can do that with any uh, website on Safari is to go to the bottom, the Share Sheet button, which is that box with the arrow pointing up, and then tap Email. And there we go. We can add that same group. There we go. And now that sent off the email. Let's go back into MailShot Pro, and I'll show you how to edit a group. So again, it's going to give us that splash screen. Let's go in here. We'll tap on our demo and at any time you can go through and delete contacts. You can also add new contacts. So we can do that. It's going to update uh, your address book or your contacts app in your iPhone. And then if you use iCloud uh, or Google to sync your contacts across all of your devices, your iPhone, your iPad, the group that we added to our contacts app is going to sync throughout all of those devices. So anywhere you are, you can email that group. So this is a great way to email groups of people using the native mail app, which then will allow you to add attachments to mail from any app that you want. And it's a great way to solve this problem that many people have on the iPhone and iPad. This has been AppChasers.com.